The spirit of God says we must pray for Marutania. I've never been to Marutania. But that's what God has been showing me this past week. Hallelujah. Even the name of the capital city is very difficult to pronounce. Noak Chot. Maybe you've never heard of such a city. Say, have you ever been to Noak Chot? It's the capital of Marutania. God has been telling me, pray for this country. I've been seeing the flag of this country in the vision. What is the message? The message says, the spirit of God says we must pray for Marutania. That nation also has the descendants of Noah. I saw in an urban setting a terror incident and I saw many people crying in an urban setting. Initially the Holy Spirit was not telling me why I was seeing the vision. But later on, after about three days, God told me the reason why I'm telling you to pray for this Marutania where you have never been to is because the enemy is planning a terror incident in an urban setting. Hallelujah. Because I saw many people crying. I saw blood. And I saw many people crying. Hallelujah. We must pray for all the towns and cities, especially this Noah chart. Look at your neighbor and say, pray for Noah chart. It will force you to go and research now from the internet. Say, pray for Marutania. And now, when, when I checked on the internet about this Marutania, you know, I was almost discouraged from praying because it's an Islamic country. Sometimes we are very sectarian in the way we do intercession. We intercede more for countries which have got Christians compared to countries which have got no Christians. Yet we ought to intercede for countries with non-Christians. Hallelujah. So that when they see the glory of God, they will come to Christ. Look at your neighbor and say, pray for no actual. Say, pray against the terror incidents. Pray 